Greetings to you, my dear friend. I hope you're very, very well by the grace of God. The central teaching of the Bible is righteousness by faith. It refers to the process by which God declares a person to be righteous, the way by which God justifies a person. Paul deals with this subject at length in two of his books, Romans and Galatians. And in both books, the Old Testament person he uses is Abraham. And in both books, he mentions the fact that Abraham was declared righteous because he simply believed in God. And Paul is referring to Genesis 15, 6. In Genesis 15, God told Abraham in verse 5, his descendants would be as numerous as the stars of heaven. Abraham is listening to this from God, even though Abraham knows that his wife Sarai could not have children. And this is told to us in Genesis 11.30, even before we read that God called Abraham out of Ur of the Chaldees. Here is a man with a wife who was barren, and he's listening to God, and God tells him he will have descendants as numerous as the stars of heaven. And the Bible tells us Abraham believed in the Lord, or he simply believed what God's word told him. In Genesis 15.1, the Bible says the word of the Lord came to Abraham. In Genesis 15.4, the Bible says the word of the Lord spoke to him. Then in verse 6, the Bible says he believed in the Lord, meaning he believed in what God said. Because the only way to believe God is to believe his word. Now, in keeping the Sabbath, we're called upon to believe an impossibility, which is that simply by speaking, God created an entire universe, the heavens and the earth. By his word, there is no one on the face of the earth whose word is so powerful that he or she, by speaking, could create a grain of sand. Yet we're called upon to believe that God, the creator, made the universe simply by speaking. When we believe this, what, which is to us an impossibility, as Abraham believed in God by believing his word, as Abraham's faith was counted for righteousness, so our faith is similarly counted for righteousness. Sabbath keeping is an act of tremendous faith in God, faith in the impossible, faith in the simple word of God, that by speaking, the universe came into existence. Just as Abraham believed the word of God which said he would be the father of numerous descendants. My listening friend, As you keep the Sabbath holy, you are following in the tradition of our spiritual father Abraham, who was declared righteous because he simply believed the word of God. And by keeping the Sabbath, you and I are simply believing the word of God. And by believing the word, we are believing God. And we believe that God, by his word, made heaven and earth. This faith of ours will be counted for righteousness, and righteousness is the qualification for the place in God's kingdom. As you keep the Sabbath holy, may your faith in God grow day by day, so that believing the impossible becomes simply a way of life for you and for me. May the Lord bless you as you believe in God by believing his word, that by speaking he created heaven and earth. God bless you, doubly bless your children, as you exercise great faith by simply keeping the Sabbath holy. God bless you, and happy Sabbath.